Okay, focus on your breath. Try to get your mind in shape. If it's wandering off, bring it back. If it seems scattered, gather it into one. Because the mind is the most important thing we have. It's this awareness is what remains even as the body dies. In the meantime, as the body grows sick and the body gets old, this is the awareness that's going to be dealing with that. So you want it to be trained. Because otherwise you can create a lot of suffering for yourself. When pain comes, illness comes, you suddenly find you can't use the body in the ways you used to be able to use it. And if the mind isn't under control, it can create a lot of suffering for itself. So you have to train it to be a steady mind, a clear mind. When something's worth thinking, you think it. When it's not worth thinking, you can just put it aside. That's what you want. So any other thoughts that come up right now, you will term thoughts not worth thinking, for the time being at least. Because this ability to say no to a thought is a really important skill that we need to develop inside. Otherwise thoughts can come in and can take over. At the same time, when you want to say yes to a particular thought, you want to really be able to stick with it. The image they give in Thailand is of a, one of those red ants. I don't know if you've seen them. They, they bite so hard that if you try to pull, pull them off, sometimes their there's, bite is so strong that the head detaches before the, they're willing to let go. You want to have that same sort of attitude, it's just sticking with this breath, regardless of what comes up, to pull your attention someplace else. With this ability to say yes to some thoughts, say yes consistently, and say no to other ones consistently. These are really important skills. They're very basic, which is why we have to develop them with something basic like the breath. Because otherwise the mind just can create all kinds of trouble for itself. It gets attached to its material wealth, it gets attached to its status, it gets attached to the words people say about you. It, get atta it gets attached to having certain pleasures that it likes, and all of a sudden it can't have those things. It's going to create a lot of trouble. So you want to be able to learn to let go, let go, and just hold on to things that really are of value. That chant we had just now is a chant that they usually do for people who have passed away. It was one of the spontaneous responses that one of the people at the time of the Buddha's passing said, all fabrications are in constant. Their nature is to rise and pass away. And fabrications here means the thoughts of the mind by which we shape our thoughts, our words, our deeds. And this is how we shape our lives. And even if we shape them really well, they're inconstant. But they do have a, a long-term impact, which is why you want to shape them well rather than shape them poorly, because if you, you're making a choice between a good impact or a bad impact. So you have to be very careful about what goes through your mind, what's, what you hold on to. Now, things will rise and pass away in the mind. That's normal. All kinds of stuff. But the things that you hold on to, the things that you develop, that's what really makes a difference. So keep this in mind, that the mind is the important element here in your world, your awareness right here. You want it to be really well trained, because that makes the difference between happiness and suffering, between doing good for the world and for yourself and destroying the world and destroying yourself. It all comes out of the mind. And we see this when, you know, when greed takes over. All of a sudden everything turns into money, and the mind gets pulled down to just where everything is just money, money, money. And what kind of life is that? Or whatever the, whatever the obsession you have, you have to look at what are you obsessed with, how to try to be obsessed with something really good, something that's really useful and helpful. That kind of a obsession is not a problem, because it really does make a difference.